Hello, hello, hello. You come on in when you're ready. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hola. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? So we're doing a live today, just waiting for our guest. Sir Dave will be joining us with Women Walker. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Linda, how are you? How's it going? Good to see you, Dave. I'm doing well. Good. I'm getting the week started right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Or try um, to. It's exciting. I know it's really good to be able to talk about voting because this is extremely important, man. Yes. Definitely. Can't wait. I'll let a couple people join in. How was your weekend? It was good. It was nice that it was a, a an extended weekend for me. Um, oh. so, yeah, I was trying to get get some rest. I think that was my focus. Oh, it's always an intent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get some rest. You're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, guys. Welcome. Join in. Join in. We're having a live with Women Walker today and Gabe. So we're going to be talking about voting. Voting, voting. My name is Orlando. I work with Women Walker as a social media influencer uh, for a couple months now. It's been a while, right? I feel like we started in, what, November? Like uh, We started in November, but we really hit the ground in January. Like a, right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so we actually started about the same time. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, but I love, you know, working with Women Walker. They're super cool. So how about you, Dave? Yeah, so I'm David Wilson. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Sir underscore Dave underscore. Uh, I'm also a Whitman Walker influencer. As Lando mentioned, we've been doing this for um, about 10 months now, officially. And my pronouns are he, him, his as well. <laughs> Beautiful. So, I mean, I pinned information here to follow Whitman Walker because we didn't really have anything specific to pin today. But uh, if you guys have any questions, we just posted um, information on Women Walker about today being the last day to register. So if you haven't registered, log on, go to your state website, which in this area would be Virginia, uh, D.C., Maryland. Um, get your information as soon as possible. Um, Virginia is the last day, even in person. I think Maryland and D.C. you can do it the day of which is on mm -hmm. um, 3rd of November. But for those of you that haven't, Virginia is the last day to register is today. So make sure you guys do that. that um, Absolutely. For, for those of you that don't know, during the past few months, Whitman Walker's Community Health Department has expanded its outreach efforts on social media platform, covering various topics about HIV, STI, sexual health practices, access to care, social detriments mm -hmm. of health, and general public health interventions. Our series of outreach focus on pandemic, COVID-19, ways to manage your sexual, personal, or mental health. Uh, the community health team is here to educate you. So please reach out to Whitman Walker on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. You can contact us, but we're gonna send you to them because they are <laughs> the experts. We don't wanna give you any wrong information, but we are here to help you guys um, have that conversation about different things, right? Absolutely. Um, and so things, some, some things I just want to jump in and add a little bit there is that, you know, it's extremely important to vote. As we all know, this um, election is probably one of the biggest of our lifetime. Um, there's a lot on the line and um, it's important that you get your voices heard. And so um, as I plan to, I um, actually was planning to mail my ballot. Oh. In. I got my official ballot. We got props today. So I got my official ballot. And so I want to point out something that I think is very important because I got my ballot. 
I was all ready to take this to, you know, fill it out, drop it in the mailbox. I don't want y'all to see my, my address here, but I want to show this. My name is spelled wrong. My middle name. Oh, no. And so now I am completely concerned about putting this ballot in the mailbox because I don't know if that is going to have an impact on whether or not my vote is counted. So one thing I want to bring to your attention, make sure you're reviewing your name on the ballot. Make sure that you are, you know, I've heard issues about, you know, signatures and things like that, but make sure you're like completing this ballot to the best of your ability. Um, I am lucky enough that I, a few days ago, that. also received my voter registration card. And then I noticed that my voter registration card versus what I got on my ballot is different. And so it looks like mm -hmm. I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go in person to vote, but I am going to make a plan to do so. So I'm now looking into like, where are my polling options? Where can I go? What time should I get there? All of those things. And so it is extremely important to make a voting plan, um, just like you would go on a trip. You know, if you're going to Miami to hang out with your friends, I bet you you know what flight you're getting on. I bet you know what hotel you're staying at. Exactly. And so plan, it plan. is just as important to make these type of logistical plans when you're headed to the poll because you don't know what issues might arise on the day of. And so the more right. that you have planned, the less likely it is that you'll miss your opportunity to vote. And so right. please make your plan, figure it out where you need to go, figure out how you're going to get there. And there are so many resources to help with that. And so one of the things I do want to point out is that D if you're in DC, there's a, a, a Twitter and Facebook account that shares information and that's called at the at symbol vote for dc you can actually see it at the back of your voter registration card they have a lot of information about where you can go and how to go about voting within dc so i think that's a good resource for you all awesome that's an awesome thing to check because i'm sure a lot of people are not paying attention to their <laughs> names and i'm sure they'll get yeah. that and say guess what your name is wrong we can't take it that's why i also decided to do the in-person route because mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, I'd rather be super safe to go there, mask up, put my shield on, and make sure that it goes into that box. Because a lot yeah. of these, you know, like, news people are like, hey, they're getting thrown out. They're finding them in the trash cans. They're not sending them right away. They're not postmarking them correctly. I just don't do it. Yeah. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. No, I definitely agree. I do encourage people to do, you know, what they feel most comfortable with. I think, you know, if you are concerned about going into a polling place or standing in lines with people um, and you might have your own reasons maybe you have you know family members at home that you're con con concerned about exposing to COVID um, I understand those reasons so you know if your only option is dropping it into a mailbox or going to a ballot box to do that then let that be your way um, but like Orlando I'm going to vote in person now <laughs> And of course, today's the last day. We're bringing awareness to this. So that should be one. Don't wait till the last day, people, especially with <laughs> these serious things about having to put things in the mail. You know, the mail is crazy. Yes. I know that people are like, hey, I mailed something. I'm like, first of all, I don't trust any mail that it comes like three weeks later, delivered to the wrong place. Um, it's super crazy that, you know, that yeah. we have to be in a situation where we don't know who's handling our mail. You know, you don't know who's handling it, how it's being handled. Uh, not to say anything bad about the post office, but circumstances happen. And we always have to be ready and um, resourceful to have information on other ways to be able to do things. So, yeah, but I yeah. mean, voting is Yeah, so to, to piggyback off of what you said earlier, like, again, today is the last day um to register um dc has online registration that you could do that uh you have until the end of the day today to do that same with maryland same with virginia so um this is extremely important if you do have a mail-in ballot i do want to point out that some logistics around mail-in ballots at least for dc at least so Logistically, you have until November 3rd, which is the day of elections, to submit or your ballot. So your ballot would need to be 
postmark. That's the election date. That's the election deadline. So I'm encouraging everybody, if you have it here with you now, get it in the mail as soon as possible. But you do have until election day to get it postmarked for it to count. So keep that in mind. Make your plans. If you need to drop the kids off or, you know, send them somewhere so that you can make that happen, make sure that you make the appropriate plans. But you have to, you know, it has to be postmarked by November 3rd. Yes, very, very good. Um, so we were talking about today being the last day to register online, people. So if you need to register online, make sure you get that, especially in Virginia. Voting and actually mailing it in and going to vote is November 3rd. Mm -hmm. Also, be mindful that, um, you know, I know I've talked to a lot of my friends, a lot of my family members about, hey, guys, have you voted? Do you need help? Like, I took my parents to early voting because I knew where it was. I'm like, all right, I'll show you guys where it is. It's super quiet. I noticed that they were doing it in my office building. I was like, yeah. perfect. Come, come to my job and I'll walk you over. So it was mm -hmm. super helpful. You know, they're older. They're more, they're like, nope, I want to go in person. I don't want to do mm -hmm. that. I'm like, I agree. Here's, here's some masks. Here's some shields and hand sanitizer. I carry my purse or my toe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do not play. I'll be having them everywhere. Look, this one is about to Look, I got a bottle here. Look, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like right you here. I got you playing no um, game. But uh, I mean, I think that is a good plan to bring hand sanitizer, wear your mask if you're going out to go, follow your, you know, COVID 19 safety precautions, keep your physical distance six feet or more away from one another. Do the best that you can to stay safe um, if you have to go to the polls. But Lando, there might actually be some of our viewers who. <laughs> who's never voted before, you know? This might be the first time that they're uh, at the age where they can legally vote at 18. And so I think we should give them a little bit of information about what they might experience at the polls, right? And so um, for my experience voting here in DC, what typically happens is that um, either your polling place might be like a church or a, you know, a school or a recreation center or some lo like public location in DC that they, they have designated at your po polling um, spot. So what you do, you show up at that location. There are going to be people outside and around that place that are going to tell you where you need to go. Um, and I, I wish I could have volunteered for, for to, to participate as a volunteer this year, but they actually had more volunteers than they oh, needed. Oh, that's a beautiful so thing to hear. That's it is a beautiful yeah. thing. So I will not have to volunteer, but I am happy to hear that we have people, uh, more than enough people that are going to be there. Um, so people are going to be there to help. You can ask questions if you get lost, but don't let it intimidate you. There are going to be people that can guide you. So be, when you get into the actual polling place, there are, there are going to be people either standing or seated um, where they can hand you the the ballot and so they'll tell you what you need to do on the ballot if you're submitting it in the machine there's a way to do that and then there's another way where you can actually just put it in this little thing and then they take it away so i submitted mine to the machine so basically you take it over to this little bitty like pedestal and you you know you complete it and then you put it in the machine it kind of sucks it away if you could think about like a vending machine where you put your right. dollar bill in there they, it kind of takes the balance it's a big away. version of that <laughs> yeah and so um it's actually quite easy it's not intimidating the only thing i would advise is that when you're filling out that ballot make sure that you're circling the bubbles completely if you've ever taken an electronic exam like the sat act or any other like standardized test the process is quite similar. You're selecting a particular bubble based on the candidate you're interested in voting for. And then you close this little folder and then you slide it in the machine. And so that is how the voting process works. Again, there are going to be people there at the polls to give you, you know, the information you need. One tip I always, always say, it's not a requirement to show up with your um, voter's registration card. I always bring my voter, voter's registration card because I overplay <laughs> However, your ID is enough if you have your ID. Um, but I like to bring my ID, my passport, 
my bonus registration card because they nobody can <laughs> tell me that I can't Everything. vote. Everything. Nobody telling me I can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But be careful because there are people outside giving ballots out. They might look legit. They might sound legit. But I don't trust that information either. So they're like, yeah. here, here's who you need to vote for. And you don't even know who's on the ballot. So do your research. Talk to your parents. Talk to, you know, talk to your friends. Go online. See these questions that they will be asking because they do put them out early. So be super conscious that you're putting things that you want. Not that mm. you just read off of a paper somebody just handed you outside. <laughs> yeah. You know, they'd be printing out some stuff. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> No, research actually Damn. is not. Oh, you froze See, up you on me. If you go to any of the sites that we mentioned, you can figure out who's running in your particular, um, you know, I guess, uh, like whether it's D.C., Maryland, or Virginia. And um, I tend to do that. Like, well, I already know who I'm voting for, but I tend to, like, research the candidates. If I'm uncertain about which candidate, you know, I'll do some research. Um before I go to the poll, just to see which one closely, as close as possible fits my views. Obviously, none of the candidates are perfect. Nobody's going to be me, right? Like, I'll do a better job being me <laughs> than anybody right. else. I hope so. <laughs> However, <laughs> I definitely try to, like, do some research to see, you know, if I can find candidates that, that closely relate to, to my views. Yeah. Yeah, so so for me, it's going to be my ninth time voting. So if you do the math, you'll know <laughs> <laughs> how old I am. But um, yeah, it's been pretty. You know, I don't I don't miss it for a thing. Wait, it's ninth time for primary elections? Huh? For like yeah, the, for president? The, really? And my first one was at eighteen. So <laughs> okay. So divide All divide right. it twenty by four. <laughs> Actually, no, don't divide it. I don't even know. You figure it out. But um, <laughs> my niece, actually, my niece just turned 18, so it was her first time voting as well. So she went, and, and they heard that it was her first time voting, and everyone inside clapped for her. So it was a real good experience for her. Um, she really enjoyed it. I'm super excited, you know, to be able to get my vote out there because, uh, you know, people may think, you know, your one vote doesn't count, but guess what? Mm -hmm. It counts a lot. So make sure your voice is heard. Absolutely. Make sure... You, your voice is heard with the country, with your family, with your friends. Um, but yeah, I mean, do we have any questions in here about about voting? I know we saw something about domestic violence. I'm going to talk to my people so we can, um, you know, figure out some information about that. So um, reach out to me, okay, Bachata Diva? We'll definitely talk about that. We got some congratulations. Yeah, it would be nice if they got rid of uh, some of those 30 people outside of the building before we go vote. But hey, <laughs> they're there to help. So hopefully they're, you know, helping each other, you know, not try to take advantage of people for those who, who might or try to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what else did I want to add? You know, we, we cover, you know, we're, like doing our research, we cover what the polls might look like. We've covered mail-in voting. We've covered checking your documents to make sure your name matches on them. Like we figured out. I didn't on have yours. Name. They tried right. They tried it with you. They tried it. They really did. You know? They put a R instead of the E in my middle name. My middle name is Michael. And they got my Carl. Mm -mm. That don't even sound yeah. right. <laughs> That's a fake ballot. Don't even try it. I, I'd, be, so, I'd, be, um, I'd, be, I'd be suspicious about anything. Absolutely. And so, again, we are looking forward to the November 3rd election. Again, this is a big one for us. Um, it is extremely important. Make sure that you get out and you vote. If you have questions or you need information, um, you know, we're here to, to help with Milwaukee is always here for the community. Um, and, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. But I also want to point out that, you know, on top of the information we provide about voting, you know, Women Walker is still available for HIV and STI testing. Um, and so if you are interested in that, you can also reach out to us and, and give us a call to set that up. And Anything else, Lando, you had to add? No, that's pretty much it. I mean, follow Women Walker. You know, they have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, for 
at Whitman Walker for the most up-to-date information on COVID, uh, sexual uh, protection prevention, um, information, and more content. You know, most of our influencers will be talking at least three times a week. So follow me, follow them. Um, and on Whitman Walker, you'll be able to see who's when, what we're talking about. So just make sure you're up to date with any information and join the Real Talk, DC underscore. Join yeah. the Corner DC. They're also family with Whitman Walker. Dave, always a pleasure. Yes, it's always a pleasure. Um, I am looking forward to this election again. Please vote. Also, again, make sure that you are staying and you're practicing physical distance. That six feet is important. Wear your mask when you're going out in public. We are still in a pandemic. I don't want to hear about any more people getting infected uh, with COVID-19. And so if you're going to the polls, please, 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 please practice safe distancing. Um, you know, keep all those best practices that we've shared with you in your mind when you're going out to the polls. So thank you all for tuning in with us. Again, we're always excited to be here sharing right. information. And on. one more thing, don't forget that they are required by law to help anyone with disabilities. So if you know you have a disability, plan ahead. They should be able to assist you with any situations you have. Thank you for mentioning that, Teresa. We really appreciate you guys. Dave, yeah, that actually is Clinton a good, good point. So um, if you are in D.C. and you require special services, um, you know, there are options for you. I'm actually reading a list of options here. So there are accessible polling places. You can look into that. They also do curbside voting if you cannot leave the vehicle. Um, also, there's designated accessible parking spaces if that's something that you require. So there should be, you know, handicap or accessible, I should say, parking spaces. Um, there are also accessible voting equipment if for people who are hearing, hearing or vision impaired. Also, if you need assistance in your voting, the, there's resources on site at these polling locations for that. They also have for uh, people who might have, be visually impaired, they also have large print voting instructions that can be provided. Um, also, there is a election day hotline for accessibility issues, and I have that number. It is 202-727-2525. So if you need any of these resources and you are a little concerned about getting those resources that you need, call that number, 202-727-2525, and they'll be sure to help you. Beautiful. Glad we could touch that last topic. So, guys, don't forget, if you have any questions, hit up Whitman Walker, and we can get you in touch with whatever state number, state email, state website we need to get you in touch with. Uh, we appreciate you all. Wherever you are, stay safe. Have fun in your <laughs> social distancing. Wash your hands at least 20 seconds. Don't forget about that. Yes. Uh, yeah, man. Thanks so much, Dave. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Lando. It's always great. See you soon. All right. Have a good night. Bye.